Good. Okay. To Wigan, Janet Stannon. Janet Stannon. Now, Janet is going to bring us up to date with the storyline because, and this particularly applies to Stefan, because last night was the big dinner party for Mr. Ikigami or Kawasaki <laughs> or whatever he <laughs> wanted to see. With you and It always you and sounded Gail. like an Af South African name for me <laughs> rather than <laughs> Japanese. Udigawa. Yes, I have a bone to pick with you. What sort of man are you that you would marry a girl purely for a business arrangement? We'll talk about that later, but I want Janet to put this question. <laughs> Janet, Janet, the story, it was the dinner party last night. What did you think of it? Um, Oh, I don't know, really. It was, I felt very sorry. Oh, it was an for, absolute disaster, uh, wasn't it? Yeah. And have you, got, have you got a question you want to put to Stefan? Yes. I'd like to ask Stefan, is Paul going to fall in love with Gail? Oh, gosh, I can't give that away. Um, Does he fancy her? Can you give us a clue? Every, no, everybody says this to me. Do they, they say, do you fall in love with Gail? Of course, they think I'm poor. Do you fall in love with Gail? And of course, Fiona gets exactly the same thing. Do you fall in love with Paul? Um, all I'm going to tell you is that we're going to tease you for about another three months, perhaps. Three months? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's too long. I can't wait. That is, that is. What do you mean? You're not long. going to be watching oh. it still then? Oh, yes, yes, definitely. Janet, what do you think he should do? Uh, I, think he, I think he should fall in love with her. I think she's in love with him already. OK, look, I will then. <laughs> <laughs> so what about this big blonde we're seeing you with at the moment? What's going to happen to her? Gorgeous, isn't she? she crystal. <laughs> <laughs> It's a disgusting so, character, so isn't it? He? He's awful. Well, he is revolting. awful. I mean, there's this. I like to think of him as shrewd. Come on, Elaine. <laughs> <laughs> right, now let's go to. Uh, thanks, Janet, for that call. We're going. Fanatic and would love to be in Neighbours Lee. What's your question? Who's it for? Well, first of all, hello, everybody there. Um, Hi. Hello. Um, um, I'd like to ask Paul, um, Stefan, who chose the new Lucy? Because she's not at all like the old one. And how do you cope with her being your new sister compared to the old one? Strange, he should say that because she isn't at all like the old woman. She? Yeah. She's six inches taller it's to start with. About fourteen years older as well. <laughs> steroids. See what steroids <laughs> She's not old. Anabolic. Steroids. Yeah. Steroids yeah. and puberty. No, like, like somebody you know. I, I, I was in Ireland the other week, and uh, the disc jockey that was interviewing me said it's amazing because they actually. Um, people in Neighbours change heads, and I thought, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Scott's changed his head. Lucy's changed her head. And uh, we've now got another character who I'm not going to tell you is going to change her head. And, uh, I'm not telling. Oh, I don't even know that. It's a clue. Like <laughs> it's, a, it's a female member of the cast. And uh, no, with, with the new Lucy, it's, uh, it's funny because we're getting a lot of uh, feedback from people over here, once again, because the new Lucy, the new, we call her the new Lucy all the time. Um, Sasha, who plays the, the new Lucy, um, was very, very, very nervous when she first started. And of course, it was her first gig. Fresh out of school, I mean, she's still in school, obviously. Uh, and she was, was sort of that slow drawl and all of that, and she's sort of uh, slowly got over that. So, of course, what she's doing now in Australia is a hell of a lot better than what you're getting over here. So bear with her, because she does pick up a lot. Well, that's very, that's very nice of you to say, Stefan. And the, the question oh, that we have you. here from... Uh, yeah, the, the question we have here from Sam, who is a neighbour of the Orm Space, uh, kind of relates to that. It's what you were talking about, all living on top of each other with the sort of very heavy filming schedule and that kind of thing. Sam, I'll speak mm. to uh, Craig, um, if you, if Henry was chosen to be the next sex symbol of Neighbours, would you accept the role? You mean he's not the, the, the sex symbol at the moment? Jennifer, I think we need to sort something out here. <laughs> yeah. The next sex symbol. It's a funny thing, isn't it, the word sex symbol, heart trouble, that sort of thing. I think, I think Neighbours is in dire need of a new heartthrob and I'm just the man to fill the boots, I'll tell you. I'm <laughs> ready to go. Well. Jennifer, <laughs> um, Jennifer who, who is the heartthrob at the moment? Cole. Oh. Oh, oh, hey, good evening. <laughs> you like, you like the JR sort of character then, the nasty guy, do you? No, I just like his looks. Oh, really? <laughs> there you are, you've got a fan there. But what, uh, <laughs> what I want to know, actually... Craig, um, if you... If Henry was chosen to be the next sex symbol of Neighbours, would you accept the role? You mean he's not the, the, the sex symbol at the moment? Jennifer, I think we need to sort something out here. <laughs> yeah. The next sex symbol. It's a funny thing, isn't it, the word sex symbol? Heart trouble, that sort of thing. I think, I think Neighbours is in dire need of a new heart throb, and I'm just the man to fill the boots, I'll tell you. <laughs> I'm he's ready to go. Well. Jennifer, <laughs> um, Jennifer who, who is the heart throb at the moment? Cool. Oh. Oh. oh, hey, good evening. <laughs> you like you like the JR sort of character then, the nasty guy, do you? No, I just like his looks. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. There you are, you've, you've got a fan there. But what, uh, what I want...